Let's Dream. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Let's play Undertale. I never thought I would finally be able to say that. But good morning everybody, it's midnight and beyond, and it's finally happening. Not only is this my Let's Play of Undertale at long last, this is my first time ever playing it. I've managed to go this long without being spoiled on what has been considered one of the greatest games of all time. I've been waiting for so stinking long to play this game. The main reason that it's been holding me back is because it was originally only available on Steam and I didn't have a proper way to record Steam games back then. But thankfully, things have changed in the past couple of years. The game is now available on PS4 and Nintendo Switch, courtesy of Fangamer. You can purchase the game on their website, along with a bunch of other Undertale memorabilia that I believe any fan of this game should own. I am beyond ecstatic to finally play this game. So, let's just get things started, I suppose. I don't know what settings are. Language, English, button, configuration, confirm, cancel, menu, reset to default, border, ooh, there's borders, simple, sepia, dynamic, none, um, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Name the fallen human, wait, what? Um, I don't know their name. I've known that they're just referred to as the human. Uh, I didn't know that they actually had a name. I thought they were just called human. Can I just name them human? It might actually be funny if I just name them human. Uh, go over here. H U M A. N. Human. Cause like I don't actually know their name and I don't want to name them Jeffrey cause I'm not sure if the main character is a boy or a girl and uh I wish I did know the official name I'm I want I'm tempted to look it up I'm afraid that like would spoil something so since everything I've seen like I can't play completely dumb on everything I do know like some of the characters designs and I know like the main premise of the game but I don't know certain things like the main character's name which you think would be important but I've always seen them referred to as the human so I guess we'll just call him human is this name correct yes my name is human like what just zooms in, it's like oh, human I was something to name in Yuki but now nah, we'll save that name for another time and hello this is the beginning of the game. I'm just, I'm never going to get over the fact that I'm finally, finally playing Undertale. This was originally going to be the last LP for year four, but then it got canceled. Then it was going to be the last, like, no, not year four, year five. Then it got canceled. Then it was going to be the last LP for year six. Then it got canceled. And now at long last, before year seven even begins, uh, we'll get to that in the future. 
Uh, this is the last LP for year seven. Oh, oh my god. So, I do know that this was originally an un uh, Earthbound fan game, which is why it has such a close connection to the Earthbound community. But that's something I really like about it, is that it turned into something entirely different, and it became uh, much more widely recognized because of it. Because I doubt an Earthbound fan game, or any fan game of any uh, official uh, game series, could ever make it onto consoles in the future. So I'm really glad that it became something all of its own. A uh, flower. Hello, flower. Howdy! I'm Flowey! Flowey the flower! Hmm... You're new here to the underground, aren't ya? I thought it was the Undertale. Golly, you must be so confused! Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess you little- I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! Um, hello. See that heart? That is your soul! The very culmination of your being! Your soul starts off weak, but it can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course! You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Thank you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Uh, what the- oh god! You idiot! In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Um, die! What the fruit? Uh, oh god, oh god, oh no! What? Uh... The flower got beaten. Ooh, I know who you are! What a terrible creature torturing such a poor innocent youth. Ah, uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Okay, so I can't play completely dumb on everything. I did know that the flower would be evil, but I didn't know we'd find the flower right in the beginning of the game, and we found out he's evil right in the beginning, so I don't feel too bad about being spoiled on that. So, now that I know the flower's stinking evil, I'll just keep going forward. I do know that this is a very beloved character who we're with right now. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. I do know the phrase determination. HP full restored. Okay, so that's a healing and a save point. Human, ruins entrance. Okay. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Uh, okay, press this. And this. Uh, not sure what that does. How much you want to bet that, like, crashes the game in the future? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk, not the middle road. So don't walk in the middle road? Oh, wait. That was the middle road. Oh. So I do know that, despite this being like, is it an RPG? I'm not entirely sure. Like, because it was an Earthbound fan game originally, so I assume it would be an RPG, but I also know it's a game about choice, that I have, I can make choices that implement the game and stuff. So, I have no idea. Did I just mess everything up by doing that? To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press X to read signs. I like how you- what? <laughs> That's singing funny, you have to press X to read the sign that tells you how to read signs. Stay on the path. But I'm- oh god, but I have to walk off the path to read that, oh no. Uh, let's see, I assume you want me to hit that? 
the first switch is over on the wall. Is it really, though? Be like, this is the first switch. You should not read this. Okay. I just want to talk to you again for uh, reassurance. Go on, press the switch on the left. On the left, not the right. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for the situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up in a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. So I do know that the main premise of the game is that it's an RPG where you don't actually have to kill anyone. You encountered the dummy! So, we could fight, act, item, or mercy. Does mercy mean, like, I give up? I want to know what the things do, but, like, I'm afraid, like, I shouldn't be fighting. Like, I'm gonna get in trouble for it. Let's act. Dummy. Check. Talk. Wait, wait, what? Okay, so, act on the dummy. Check, talk. I can check it or talk to it. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! You earned zero experience wins and zero gold! Ah, very good. You are very good. So, that's what we get for not fighting the dummy. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you could solve it. Huh, could we climb up here? No. Let's see what we got. Nothing in here as far as I'm aware. Uh, hello. A uh, frog it attacks you. Oh god, is it like Mother 1 where enemies just appear randomly and I don't actually see them? Uh, act, frog it, check, compliment, threat. Let's not threaten it, let's compliment it. Frog it didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. She just comes in and she scolds it. You won! You were in zero experience, zero gold. Will I be level 1, like, at the end of the game, though, if I just don't do anything? The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Uh, whatever that means. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Oh, they're so adorable! Walking through spikes and stuff. This is just so weird to, like, be playing... I have the same feeling as if I were playing Earthbound Blind for the first time. Like, I know it's a legendary game, like, it's the same feel of it, but, like, I can't believe I'm finally stinking doing it. I've been wanting to do this for so stinking long. Puzzles seem a little too a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Okay, are we about to fight her or something like that? She's got some sort of surprise for us. I kind of wish she had like a diagonal spray instead of just like sliding down, but whatever. Um, I don't know what the team behind this game is like. I know Toby Fox is the head of the whole operation, but I don't know if is he the only one who worked on this game? Because that'd be pretty stinking impressive that like only one person created this legendary game that everyone adores. Uh, hello? It's, uh... Hmm. It's a column of some kind. What the? Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar. Oh, God. Pillar is now banned from this household! The whole time. See, I was trying to avoid saying it, but she brought it up, so I had to say it. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. What? If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Uh, how do I access it? We have items, but we don't have items. Stat. A uh, human, level 1, HP 2020, uh, weapon stick, armor bandage, 
gold zero cell phone say hello about yourself call her mom flirt what so I assume she's the only one we get to call can I do all of them or only one dialing this is Toriel huh did you just call me mom well I suppose would that make you happy to call me mother well then call me whatever you like click that was it <laughs> uh how do I access it triangle say hello about yourself flirt uh I could do all of them hello this is Toriel you only wanted to say hello well then hello I hope that suffices <laughs> Uh, the mom one disappears afterwards. That's interesting. About yourself. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? No, I want to know about me, actually. Well, I am afraid there is not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Click. Is it weird to flirt with your mom? Uh, let's find out. <laughs> Dialing? Huh? Oh, heh, heh. Ha ha ha. How adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. And why is Flirt still here, but the other one's just, okay, whatever. So now that she told us to wait in the room or do we just go forward? I assume we just go forward, but like the fact that it's a game of choice, I feel like, I don't know, the way games are being made nowadays where like the tiniest little detail uh, can change the entire scenario and just, everything about it just becomes crazy and stuff and this seems a lot longer than I remember it being uh is this what the yeah like that I could have gone forward but I just saw that that was the flat that was fl is it flowy or flowy I I assume flowy because flower but like I just want it looks like flowy if you don't see a flower attached to it so I'm gonna call him flowy or flowy or I don't know but like the fact that there's so many altering choices, so obviously this will not be a 100% playthrough. But I thought an interesting thing would be, this would be a way that I could have an LP uh, end at one point but continue later on in future times. I'm gonna have my first playthrough be a blind LP, and maybe in the future if I like this game enough, then I will try and do a 100% playthrough where I uh, just show off everything. So that would be interesting if I could actually compile that. I don't know how advanced or how like branching this entire game is though so we'll just have to wait and see and oh I guess I can't do that but the fact that you walk back there and you see him that's so stinking cool oh my god like I'm just so stinking happy that I'm finally playing this game and I'm glad that I get to share it with all of you because I know this game means a lot to all of you but I also know that I can't trust the internet so this is another reason why I'm recording it super far in advance because I don't trust any of you to not spoil it for me so Having the entire LP 100% recorded, and then I will go ahead and upload it. Uh, there's another frog at ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? Ah! Uh, there are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Click. I wonder if you could actually just wait in there for like a certain amount of time and then she will come back. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP full restored. Oh yeah, that was the uh, saving thingy. I forgot about that. Leaf pile. There's only one save file, I believe. Uh, up here. Hmm. It says take one. Take a piece of candy? What if it's a trap? Let's find out. You took a piece of candy. Press triangle to open the menu. Piece of evil candy. Toriel will murder you if you take this candy. Uh, info. Monster candy heals 10 HP, has a distinct non-licorice flavor. Uh, is that like a reference to, uh, Foresight and Earthbound being like, Bread in this town has a very delicious nondescript flavor to it. Uh, everything I'm gonna be like, is that an Earthbound reference? Uh, ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. The monster does not want to fight you, please. Use some mercy, human ribbit. So that's how that works. So, yeah, I should be going forward. Oh god. 
Wimson approached meekly. Uh, is it? Do they only appear on the red spots or? Uh, let's see. Act. Wimson. Check. Console terrorize. He looks sad, so I'll console him. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. You won! You're in zero experience. Okay. Is it just because I stepped on the red, or will they appear literally anywhere? Uh, let's go over here. Nothing. Or something. Wimson approached meekly. No, 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 I don't want to fight it. Uh, let's act. Wimson. I don't know, it's weird, like, I don't... This one seems super weak though, so if I hit it, it might die, so... I guess that's what I'm gonna be- I'm just gonna be going for the game's rules, like, I know you're not supposed to fight anyone. So, the way I've just thought about it, the way I've imagined this game working is that, if, like, I'm in a scenario where I should fight someone, then I will, but in this situation, I think I could get away with it. Halfway through your first word, whoops, the person is here, so runs away. Yeah, so, I know how this guy works, so I don't have to fight him. But, like, like I'm in a scenario where it's like, you want to save your best friend, so you gotta fight this other person, then I'll fight the other person. That's probably how it's gonna work. And this looks like a trap. Don't take the middle path. Oh, well, that just happened. Oh, uh, where are we? I got there's just a red carpet to nothing. Oh, so the enemies do just appear randomly. I kind of don't like that. Uh, I know it's an RPG, but still, like, I wish they were on screen, and I wish that... I don't know, the way that it said you don't have to fight anyone, I was imagining, like, every single battle was gonna be, like, meaningful in some way. Like, there would only be a very small amount of battles, and I wouldn't have to, uh, worry about this. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, it wouldn't just be a bunch of random NPCs, but instead there were just very specific battles, and I could choose to fight or not to fight them, so I guess that makes it just a much broader game in that case. Hello, this is Torio. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Uh, cinnamon. Be scotch. Cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, we'll see what that leads to. Ring. Okay, hello, this is Torio. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on, on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble later. Uh, three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Three out of four. And of course there's an enemy under there. A frog it hopped close. Uh, what did we do before we complimented it? Didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply. Ribbit. But uh, oh. Okay, so now I have to avoid the flies of death. Okay. Seems reluct reluctant to fight you. Do I mercy now? Spare flee. Okay. You want- Could I just say mercy and then leave, like, right off the bat for every fight? It seems, like, too easy. Okay. Just go through here. Uh, what do we got? Nothing. Oh boy, this is gonna take forever and a day. Uh, I assume going up there will just leave me out of that window like it did last time. But that might be a trap! It might be something different! No. So just jump down again, and over here we've got another enemy. A uh, Wimson approached meekly. Spare. So I could just do that if I don't want the flavor text. Please don't step on the leaves. Oh, I'm stepping on the leaves. Uh, okay, I guess I'm out of here now. But wait, wait. How do I get? How do I advance forward? I was supposed to. I was expecting there to be like a window or something, but there wasn't. So I guess the battles are at least quick, so I don't have to worry about it being too annoying. Huh. Uh? Oh, okay, so it's not everywhere, but... Oh, is it like the leaves down here are the places where I can't walk? Is that how it is? I think that's it. I think I cracked the case. Uh, if I remember correctly, okay. And we run into something. A mold small. Uh, in imitate. You lie immobile with mold small. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Slime sounds. Okay. Oh god, it explodes. Oh no. Oh, I don't like this. I I feel like this is gonna be super difficult to keep my HP up all the time though. 
Uh, let's flirt with Mold Small. You wiggle your hips, Mold Small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Burble burb. And just floating around. Oh god, oh god. Uh, I do like the concept though. Uh, let's go ahead and... I don't have any items. I do have the monster candy. Uh, let's go ahead and spare. You won. Earn zero experience, one gold. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? <laughs> uh, now... Get over here! God darn it! I wasn't sure. Oh, we have to go, like, all the way around. Okay, so... Just try this one more time. See, I don't need no stinking goat mom to help me through the puzzles. I could do it all by myself, eventually. Or not. <laughs> Uh, wow, okay. Should probably end this episode soon because we're like 30 minutes, but I just want to. I want to clear like the dungeon area. God darn it, why am I messing up magically? I have to go all the way down. I don't know why I'm just not doing that anymore. Uh, I don't know. I just wanted to like get through the tutorial stuff before ending things off. And we find an enemy. Another mold small, don't care. And, oh god, what was it? I walk down, I think, and we're good. Okay, cool. Uh, it said three out of four. It was, was that a test? Three out of four rocks recommend you push them. Here's three rocks now. Wait, three out of four rocks recommend you push. So that means I should push three rocks. So I shouldn't have pushed the other one. And I run to another enemy. A uh, two frog. It's... Wait, ribbit, ribbit, meow. I can't mercy when there's two of them. Uh, his raw strength. I would have to run away. Okay, that's good to know, I guess. Please, I'm out of here. What the heck? The heart just walks away. Uh, we'll do that. And that. And a little bit of that, I suppose. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Okay. Hmm? You want me to move some more? So I guess this is the fourth rock that didn't want to be moved. Alrighty, how's this? No, not like that. Hmm, that was the wrong direction? Okay, think I got it. And there you go, that's funny. Oh, what the fruit? Come on. Huh? <laughs> you want me to stay here? You're giving me a real workout. And we're good. I'm surprised he didn't walk away like as soon as we did that. I'd be like, oh, no, no, you can't. Oh, come on. Uh, flee. Escaped. Uh, we do have a save point. So, is that a little mouse hole? And there's cheese. Delicious, delicious cheese. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Ugh. Guess we're gonna... Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. I oh my god, there's like a different thing every time. So, we're gonna save right here, and I guess we're gonna end the game right here. Not end the game, but end the episode. This is funny and confusing, and I don't know what I was expecting, but we're finally playing Undertale, and I'm excited to see where this road takes me. Next time on Undertale, we're gonna continue our way through this mini dungeon against our goat mom's orders. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.